This video is a sneak peek video for our Adapt Revit Link 2019, and this will actually be the second release of the Link 2019.1, and we want to show a few new things that are going to be um, included in this Link. So we're going to start with a Revit model, and for this version of Revit, we have the latest 2019. Under the Analyze tab, I have um, installed the Adapt Revit Link. So you can see there's several options here. And a couple of new options are this option to create a sheet, which contains reinforcement and post-tensioning information that can be um, used to generate a new sheet with that, um, with that detailed information included. And then there's also this option to update points in the case where we um, modify tendons within an ADAPT model. We need to reflect those modifications back on the sheet plan in Revit. And then we also have the um, usual import and export features from the link. These are currently included in the 2019.0 release. So we're going to start by exporting this Revit model to ADAPT. And I'll just use this option for export. This is read-only, so we can see different things that will be exported in terms of components, cases, combos. We'll just go ahead and export the, the data. And it will ask us to save the file, so I'll go ahead and just save the file as this name. We're now going to launch Builder 2018, so we'll go over here. We're going to open Builder 2018 with Edge, um, Floor Pro, and PTRC. So for the Builder model, we're going to also use US units. In, in the builder model, we want to import this file, um, the IMP file, and then we're going to design a floor slab um, and add some post-tensioning to it, add rebar design reinforcement, and then import that back into, um, into Revit a couple of different ways, as objects and then also as these sheet um, plans that we talked about earlier. So we'll go ahead and select OK, and we're using... Adapt Builder 2018. So from the file menu, I'm going to go over to import and I'll import the IMP file that I had just created. When I import this, I want to choose to import um, this by creating a new model. So we're going to create all levels. There are no loads or combos. We'll select OK. And we're now looking at the model in what we call multi level view. That's pointed out up in the upper right. If I go to a 3D view, you can see the level or the model has been has been created and generated. So um, we're going to focus on one particular level. We're actually going to go um, to single level mode, and I'm going to navigate uh, down to level three. So we're now here at level three, and you'll notice there is one issue here. We have duplicate walls that were brought in from Revit. That would become apparent when we mesh and analyze this. So knowing that that's actually occurring, I'm going to select this wall and just delete the duplication here. So now I have this wall and this wall that are not duplicated. And we can focus on designing this slab. So to design the slab, um, we're going to generate support lines, splitters, add tendons, and we're going to do just the necessary things to be able to at least uh, produce and generate um, reinforcement for the slab, including the tendons. Those are covered in other tutorial videos that we have available on our YouTube channel. You can check those out as needed. So we're going to just produce this and skip ahead to where we can export it back to um, uh, Revit 2019. OK, so we've generated um, support lines for the X and then if I switch this using this uh, visibility panel under the floor design option, if I switch that over to the Y, we have our support lines now in the Y. And what we're actually going to do for this model, just for the sake of time, is we're going to um, we're going to do a banded 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 system. So what I'll do is use my mapping option from the tendon toolbar, and I'm going to map distributed tendons. But I'm going to select all of my strips first. And then I can revise as necessary. So for each for each strip, we're going to map two um, or two tendons per strip, which will be the bands. And so we'll go to map banded. 
I will use the tributary width uh, as my guide for mapping the, the tendons and then we'll go ahead and just use some input here to generate um, the tendon data. We're going to offset these one foot from each side of the support line and also we want to make sure we have the proper spans. So we've just mapped the tendons for the model and um, we need to modify spans, uh, the, the end spans for the model. The end spans were set to reverse parabolic and then you can see also that this tendon here is, uh, just kind of splits off and then it re-enters here. So here we're actually going to delete one tendon and I'll increase this by a count of two. So this will be times two. And I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll delete this tendon on the inside. And this will be um, a count of 18 because the program will place the tendons in two lines, so we're just getting rid of that so we can kind of customize this how it needs to be done. I'll stretch this one out to the edge of the slab, like so. And then I also need to add a point, so I'll insert a vertex um, on this on this line somewhere, and there's my vertex there, and I can now move that over, let's say, to the high point. On the other side of this, we need to run this tendon out. So I'm actually going to take this point, move it all the way out to the um, slab edge. Okay, and then we're going to add two vertices. We're going to add one here and one here. So I'll go back to select the tendon, right click, and I'll just insert a point one and a point two. And we need to go back and then readjust the position of the points. So there's the first point in the second point here. Okay, um, here we have tendons that are out of the slab, so I just need to move this point up slightly. I need to move this point up also. This sweeps around that, that opening there, and then everything else here looks, looks okay. Um, in the other direction, I'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to turn the tendons off in this direction and I'll go back to floor design and just navigate over to this direction. So we just want to give kind of a, a, a image or a view of how the tendon mapping is done for this type of a project. We'll go ahead and, and get the tendons done for this direction. We'll design the slab and then we're going to send the rebar and the tendons back over to Revit. So we now have the tendons worked out in both the X and the Y directions. We also have the design strips for the floor. If we go to floor design and I turn on the strips, we have the design strips here. So we're going to go ahead and and um, just design this floor um, assuming these tendons and the force in the tendons and we'll go ahead to uh, um, analysis. I've already meshed the model so I'll go ahead and just execute the analysis and obtain some reinforcement. The analysis is complete. The second step will be to go to floor design and design the design sections. And this is where the reinforcement will be um, calculated for the different design strips and the design cuts. Okay, so that's been done. We're going to uh, go to a plan view for this model and I'll turn off my design strips. I'll leave my tendons on. And we're going to um, we're going to go over to under floor design, calculate the rebar plan, and I'll calculate this for the envelope. I'm going to orient the reinforcement in the orthogonal x and y directions. So this is the output of reinforcement for this particular model. Uh, if we go ahead and export this now, we want to create an IMP file that will be interpreted by the Revit link when we import this, this uh, model back into, um, into Revit. So let's go ahead now and I want to go to Tendon. I'm going to select Tendon Settings and I want to turn on the Export Tendon Segments in IMP. And then we'll go over here to File and I'll Export 
this file, and I'm going to export using the IMP option. This is important because this actually contains the necessary framework to export the tendons as compared to Revit. This really only contains uh, geometric data. This contains not only the geometry, the, the component geometry, but also the tendon and reinforcement data. So we'll use IMP, and I'll call this um, Revit 2019 to Revit. And now we're going to go back uh, into Revit. Now back in our original Revit file, we're going to select Analyze again. And what we're going to do is just create a, a plan sheet. We're actually going to update this level three structural plan to include the Revit, uh, or excuse me, the builder tendon and reinforcement data in, in sheet form. So we'll go here to create a sheet. I'll select that IMP file that I had generated from ADAPT. And first of all, for tendons, we're going to select the ADAPT level to import. We're importing level three. That's the only level that actually contains any design data. That's the only level that we had designed inside of inside of Builder. For the Revit level, I want to select level three also. And I can then select whether to create tendons, create tendons as splines, or use linear tendon segments. So we're going to use splines. I can create tags, um, show CGS units, and also show some tendon data like force or number of strands. Um, and then there's a selection option to to delete all detailed tendons before the update. So this would um, this would basically replace what might be there in the file currently or in the sheet plan. So if I go to rebar, I have again the ability to adapt the level to import three. The Revit level is three, and then I'll create rebar tags, and we have the same delete option. And we're going to now select update sheet and just show what is produced in this particular um, format. So we'll go ahead and um, just select OK. The program will warn us of any errors. And then we'll complete the update to the uh, level three that we're working on. OK, now that the update is complete, we're going to go over here to level three for the structural plan. And we can see that the information was um, imported from Adapt Builder. So for example, if I look at some tendon data here, you can see the program will represent the tendon. I'm actually showing the force out here on the end with the um, anchorages brought in from the tendon. The program shows the CGs at supports by the yellow, or the, excuse me, the red and the blue um, circles that are filled. And we also have some representation of rebar. Here we have seven number fives by 14 foot um, six inches and the same representation of rebar here. Um, this is going to be available again in Adapt Revit Link 2019.1. If you have any questions about this, please let us know at support at adaptsoft.com. Thank you.